Okay, so last time I left off at uh, Apollo Cesaro, it was a two of 99. It was an authentic matte relic. And then uh, I actually had two more that actually came in. And uh, let's just get to seeing what I pulled. But pretty interesting, I guess. You could kind of tell how thick the packs are because it comes with the guaranteed relic card, right? So you could tell how thick these cards are. And I would find it kind of odd if you were to buy these packs, I guess, loose, like online, or if, I guess the store is selling them loose. Wouldn't it be really easy for someone to just kind of map out the box and take out whichever cards are valuable? So we do see this one seems to be the thicker one. And I'm kind of interested to see, like, I keep looking at the back of the cards, trying to see if um, they're actually numbered cards. Because I know, like, aside from the actual autographs and relics, there are actual numbered cards as well, too, for the regular ones. I don't know if you check the back or they write it in the front. Sami Zayn. Kind of weird that they always put people they have nothing to do with in, like, these tag teams or factions that aren't really factions. They kind of just end up becoming jobbers. Bobby the Brain Heenan. That's a kind of a throwback. WrestleMania 9. New Day. I kind of wish with the New Day, uh, what they would do is uh, kind of give them like some kind of run again with the title. I know Biggie just lost the title, but I think like maybe if they could win it again. Like for a while, I found it really weird when they won the tag team titles that they kind of could all three of them defend it. It'd be kind of cool if, I guess, like, if they win back the world title. And I know they were pushing uh, Xavier Woods for a while. Maybe he could, uh, they could, like, defend the title together or something. That'd be pretty cool. Apollo Crews, Parallel. Otis. Seth Rollins. Randy Orton. I know for a while, like, uh, when I was watching way back, I was kind of sick of Randy Orton for the longest time. Since... There was like this period where there was like a million matches between him and uh, John Cena for the title. Every single pay-per-view over and over again. But it's kind of cool to see that he's still around and kind of doing really well. When you think about, um, you know, most of the wrestlers from like the 2000s are pretty much retired. And we're kind of seeing like a new age. For a while, I really liked watching with like NXT going on. But now we know, like, oh, you know, with NXT 2.0 and this is a whole disaster. It's, like, kind of going stale, which is why I'm glad, like, you know, I know a lot of people are, like, AEW fanboys and, like, kind of either choose one or the other. But I kind of watch, like, a little bit of everything, like, even, like, New Japan. And uh, it's nice. It's good to have alternatives because, you know. I feel like the problem with WWE is that they kind of had no competition, so they kind of were able to get away with just doing really, really, really awful things over and over and over again until people are sick of it. And, okay, now they're, like, kind of paying attention trying to do something different, but they're still doing awful things like the whole NXT 2.0 thing, which I really don't get. And I think... Most of the original NXT like stars are gone, and from I know I saw the news recently that they fired uh, William Regal, which kind of sucks. So, but hopefully, you know things pick up again. Reversal of fate. Jeff Hardy, I think, also got released. Dakota Kai, Mandy Rose. I think she's the NXT Women's Champion now. So, yeah, pretty much, uh, I hope things change for the better. Because I know WWE is kind of falling apart with like a lot of injuries in recently as well, too. Roman Reigns. Really like how he turned heel. Again, I find it really odd that someone could come back from beating cancer and people are booing him again but i think he, he makes like a really really good heel i'm glad he dropped the whole uh, the shield beam and actually ended up having his own theme song 
which is I actually really, really like the new theme song. Liv Morgan. Uh, I used to always confuse her with uh, Mandy Rose, like their gimmick, and then but Liv Morgan always had like that um, Harley Quinn thing going on. I think she's doing really well right now. Apparently, people are you know really like her. I know her cards like end up going for a lot right next to uh, I know Sasha Banks and what you call Alexa Bliss. Her cards go King Nakamura. Whereas uh, you see autographs for Alexa Bliss going for a lot, but like someone like Nakamura goes for like $25 or something like that. Which is kind of pretty funny. But yeah, it looks like if you're just looking to collect just like a really weird gimmick with Alexa Bliss. Uh, Kane, original Kane, actually. Not when he was like super jacked in the 2000s, but like when he gets in, it was in the 90s. But, uh, let's see. I forgot what I was talking about. Commander Aziz. What was this? I think it was a gimmick with Apollo Crews. It was some kind of, like, the usual, like, foreigner gimmick, whatever. That probably didn't go too far, considering, uh, Dewdrop. Ugh. Don't, don't get it. Don't, don't get the whole gimmick. Not like a physical appearance thing, but just just don't really get it. It's, the dude drop name is just kind of weird. Indy Hartwell. I know Indy Hartwell is doing something with uh, Dexter Loomis in NXT. They have like some weird... Like Dexter the Killer gimmick thing going on. I don't know. The new NXT stuff I don't really get. And I used to really, really love watching NXT, but I love the wrestling. Oh, what is this? Becky Lynch versus Char Charlotte Flair. This is Charlotte doing a moonsault. Film Relic. 11 out of 299. This is pretty cool. But I guess it... Yeah, I actually like this more than the, the signatures. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this box. I won't make the video too long, and I'm going to open the last box next. Thank you for watching.